So how do you buy a used iMac? What do you look for? <laughs> Let me show you. Welcome back to the channel. And this one's very specific. How do you buy a used iMac? And I'm not talking, we'll get into it, not brand new ones or close to new, but kind of older versions of the iMac because they're probably the best value of Apple computer right now because you get this screen, you get everything with it. Really good value with iMacs. And that's why I wanted to kind of cover this topic today. Um, so a couple different things. Now I know what I'm doing with buying used IMAX for my channel because I just bought this one and if you look at my screen here, 148 bucks, this thing's a powerhouse. It's a 2013 but I got, I knew what to look for. This thing's great for $148 right here. And then I have a couple sitting over here. I buy a whole bunch of other used computers for my channel so I do know what I'm talking about. I think I bought five or six used ones. So I kind of have a list of stuff to go through and I want to explain to you what you look for when buying a used one, how you buy the best ones. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm gonna show you how to buy used IMAX. All right, tip number one, if you're gonna be buying something that's very close to new, like a year old, or it's gonna save you like 150 bucks on an iMac, just buy the new one. Um, but if you need to get something fairly new and you want it to be used because you need to save that money, if it's, if it's close to new, the only really store I recommend, and there's a lot more I'll get into in a second, but it's just the Apple Refurbished store. So I'll show you here my site. You can see that they sell fairly, they're basically new, and you can get them, they're gonna be up to around a thousand bucks minimum. Um, and again, if you're looking for cheaper, this is not for you, which we'll get into. But if you wanna buy like the 24 inches and stuff that just came out, you know, here's one for $12.69, and it's basically $14.99 usually. So you get that savings, but you get the support from Apple, and you know it's gonna be a good machine tested fully, you're gonna have no problem. So that's tip number one. If you're buying something close to new, just buy new or buy something from Apple Refurbished. All right, number two. If you're going to be buying used and it's going to be a little bit older, um, buy from a company that does it for their job. Like buy from a company that sells a lot of different used IMAX. And the reason is, is whether it's on eBay, and I have a couple other things. Like I use a site called I Sell iMac. It's a great site. I bought a bunch of them from them. And I'll show you in a second why I do. But basically, either that's a good site or there's a site called um, OWC, which you can see here on my screen. They sell used IMAX. And if you look through here, they sell all different ages of IMAX. And they're all kind of looked at before they sell them. The reason I recommend these type of sites is because they that's their business. They have reviews to worry about. They usually have a process of checking all those out. You know, they'll check everyone out before they sell it, check all the ports, check the screens, identify the issues, rate them, and then give them to you. Um, when you go with an individual user, a lot of times, I'm not saying this is always the case, but you might get these people that try to hide stuff, like they'll cover up a port that's not working, they won't mention it, or there'll be a little dot on the screen or something that they don't even want you to know about, so they won't mention it. There'll be certain things that are wrong with it, maybe it overheats after time and they don't want to tell you, You'll maybe they'll find out later. So it's best just to buy it, and plus they're not stolen and stuff when you buy from these companies in most cases. So I recommend always buying from a reputable place like I sell iMac, OWC, um, Apple refurbished if you're going to buy that more expensive one, but there's ones out there kind of similar to that. All right, now this is probably the most important tip. The reason I like something like I sell IMAX, and this is just one example, is that I'm going to share my screen here, is you can go in and actually, let me, so this is, this is one that they're selling that's a newer one, but you know, they're not going to be that much off. But when you're selling, buying something like this, take a look at this one. This is a grade D. And you know, the, the, the good thing about this is it's a only 190 bucks for an iMac. Um, it's one terabyte, which I'm going to get into in a second. I don't recommend buying a normal hard drive either on, on, on used iMacs. So I'll get into that. But so stay, stay tuned here. But this one, I'm just giving you the example. The reason I like this company is because look at this. They'll actually point out every single issue in to show you the exact unit you're buying. So my tip here is look at this. They're showing the scratches on the screen. Why is this a D grade? They're showing that it's got cracks. They're showing, you know, it works, you know, it'll say that it works fully. They'll show the back of it. They'll show all this stuff, where the scratches are. And then you can kind of scroll down and you can see down here, you know, it is, what's it say? It says you pass the 64 point, it's fully functional, but it's got all these issues. So you know exactly what you're getting. The reason I recommend not buying one that you can't see, you know, if you can't, if, you know, maybe from OWC, maybe from Apple, but the other companies that you can't actually see the units is because of this exact reason. They'll show one system and then they'll sell a bunch of different systems, right? You don't know what you're getting. You don't know where the scratches are, where the cracks are, what you actually want on that system. I sell iMac does a great job of pointing everything out that is wrong with the iMac and you know exactly what you're getting and I'll get into why that's important because it really depends what you're buying it for. You need to know is it aesthetically good, is it not, is it work perfect, and all the ports work. Those are very important things to know. 
Also, these companies give you grades like A grade, B grade, C grade, D grade. And when you get familiar with them, you kind of get a feel of what that grade means. But again, it's really the pictures that you need to see and how you, you know, so are you going to be disappointed when it arrives? And is it the exact unit they're shipping you? If you don't get that unit, you can call them up and say, hey, here's the pictures. You didn't ship me in the right unit. All right, another tip here is know what you're buying. So if you're buying like a 2013 used iMac, a 21 and a half inch like this, 27 inch, whatever you're buying, get the model number, the actual model number of what that is. Because a lot of times these companies will list things, they'll list it maybe by the OS date and you may get it and it's the wrong date. So know what you're getting, but even more importantly, know why you're, you know, why you're buying that and know exactly you know, what can the OS be upgraded to because that's the main concern. So there's a site called uh, and again, it's on uh, OWC. If you look up Mac OS compatibility guide and look at my screen, you can go in here and you can expand where it says iMac right here. You can expand this and it'll go down and it'll show you every version that you can buy. So for example, if you were to buy a 21 and a half inch 2000, 17 mid 2017 4k you can upgrade all the way to monterey uh, the newest version of the os right now so it gives you what you can upgrade your os to as you get older you'll see that you can't upgrade to certain os's which gives you security issues later down the line and again that may or may not be important to you depending on how you use it but this is really important so know what you're buying go to this compatibility chart make sure if you're buying a 2015 2013 you know what os it can be upgraded to and then upgrade that os right away to that specific version all right, here are some other tips too. So if you're buying an iMac, again, know what you're buying it for. So for example, I'm on a, I'm a channel that I just review these things and I don't review them, but I just make little videos how fast they are. So it, they don't have to be super aesthetically pleasing to me, even though I always try to buy good units like this. Um, like for example, if this was against the wall, the back of it could be scratched up and I could get a way better price on a way scratched up back of the unit, if as long as the screen was fine. Or in some cases, I am very picky with my screen. I don't want any cracks or anything. This one had a teeny little little crack over here and had a little scratch but it was almost unnoticeable it wasn't even on the actual screen it was on the bezel and it ended up being a grade C and I got this for 148 bucks because of it if it was a grade A it would probably have been double that at least so you have to look for those things what are you capable of looking for now if you're gonna have this as your main home computer again you probably want it to be so that it can upgrade to the newest OS for security but somebody like me that can up knows how to upgrade things and they can actually know what to do with these little bit older versions of the Mac OS you know I'm fine with it there's specific programs out there that allow you to update this to the newest OS kind of behind the scenes. This is not what that video is about, but a lot of people can't do that. They're not capable of it because they just aren't techie enough. But if you know, if you can do that, then you can do that and buy these old systems and upgrade them to the newest OS. But again, you just have to know what you're buying. Don't just go out and buy a Mac, you know, any iMac that's out there and say, hey, why isn't this being, why can't I upgrade it? And then figure out later. So you want to do the research in advance and just know the reasons you're buying it for. I mean, if it's a burner computer sitting in the corner just so you can learn Macs, buy the worst possible one you can buy with scratches and everything. You're still, it's going to have all the functionality the screen might have a scratch in it, but if you can live with it, you're going to get a huge deal on it. I mean, massive deals, like half off or 75% off because it's got that big scratch. And that's what you want to look for. What are you buying it for? And then just really quickly, the things that make these things go down in value, which I just mentioned, is a lot of big scratches in different areas, but really the screen on IMAX particularly. Uh, or broken ports, those are going to drop the cost down considerably. So like if one port was broken and you could live with it, it was just like a one USB port, maybe you're going to get a huge discount on it and that's fine. If you have a little chip in the corner and it's not even on the screen but in the bezel and that gets the cost down a couple hundred bucks, that's fine as well. Keep in mind that those things keep the cost down. So if you're buying this and you want to sell it later, you want to buy the most pristine unit you can with no scratches, looks perfect, because when you resell it, that keeps the price up. So I like to buy them kind of in the middle because I do want to resell these. I don't, I mean, I'm doing testing on them a lot of cases. I don't need 20 IMAX. So I end up looking for these units that are kind of, you know, in between where they have maybe some scratches, maybe they don't, but they're, I can live with them and they're good enough and I can get a good cost on them. All right, another tip on buying used IMAX, always get an SSD or at least a Fusion Drive. Now, this is super important. On all these old Macs, they're going to be dirt slow if you buy a 2013, 2014, 2015 with either a 5400 spinning drive, that's the RPM, or a 7200 RPM. Don't buy spinning drives in a Mac anymore, especially the old ones. They'll be dirt slow with the new OSs. So what I recommend, again, I'm going back to the one I sell IMAX, but here's one for 475. Again, I probably wouldn't buy this because this one actually, but it does have a one terabyte fusion drive, eight gigs of RAM, and it's 475 right here. But this is a grade B, which it should be in very good condition. So if I click on this, you can click on this, you can see that there's really no problems with the screen. 
look at this. I mean, if you look at this, it's got no blemishes probably anywhere in the system. So grade B is going to be close to perfect. There might be a couple little things, you know, little scraps here and there. 475 though, it's got that, it's got the fusion. I wish it had the SSD, but that's a unit that I might look at again. You know, that's, what is that? 2014, that's a 27 inch too. So it's a little bit bigger. It's not a terrible cost, but getting that much money, you want to make sure you know what you're getting and also look for those type of things just to make sure you're going to be able to resell it later. All right, another tip is just make sure it's not locked. So if you're buying from eBay or something and you can't see the picture of it, you, you don't, you know, maybe you trust, maybe it's a company that sold some of them, but you still want to check certain things. Again, make sure you know the date of what you're getting, not just the OS date, but also make sure it's not locked. A lot of these places sell them locked iMacs or locked Mac computers in general, like iCloud locks and stuff, and then they sell them for parts. You'll see kind of in the little description for parts only or something, and then you buy it and you can't even get into it, and then you basically have to part it out. So make sure that you're looking for an unlocked machine, and in fact, you want it to be on a screen where you have to go in and you actually have to set up everything from the very scratch. If they just give you a pass where you can log in. You probably want to reload the OS again to the newest version just to make sure there's not, no funny business going on or something wasn't planted on there so you can reload the OS. And again, is, are you capable of doing that? Are you tech enough? So this is what I'm saying. Understand what you're buying. You know, know your tech level and buy what you can actually advance. If you know a lot of stuff about tech, you can upgrade things to the newest version of the OS and all that stuff. Then you can buy some older stuff and you get a really good deal. And if it's got an SSD, it's going to be really fast. All right, so the reason I wanted to make this video is because iMacs are probably the best deal you can buy right now. I mean, they have the screen. Some of them are 5K, the, these 21 and a half inch. Some of them are 4K. The screens in general, like a 5K screen right now is about 1500 bucks if you buy the newest Apple display. And you can get some of these 5K iMacs for like 500 bucks with the computer in them. And maybe a 2015 even. So if it's got a couple little scratches on it or something and you can deal with that, you're getting a $500 iMac 5K screen which you know can burn through videos because these things have video cards in them, unlike a lot of the MacBooks and things like that. The M1 line has graphics as well, but they don't have like these dedicated graphics so much as far as these things had. And these things have like RX series cards and stuff in them, in, embedded in them, um, smaller versions of them. But basically they, they are able to do a lot of good, you know, video editing is pretty smooth on a lot of these systems depending on what you get. So these are good deals overall. So knowing how to buy these things, especially for like kids and stuff like that, you know, as long as you get the security updates and things like that can be a really good deal. All right, so just to recap, again, look for companies that are gonna be selling a lot of them. Make sure they have a process of checking them. Don't buy from individual users. If you're going to know, know what you're buying, know that if you're going to just be using it, you can live with scratches and stuff. But if you're going to be reselling it, buy as pure of a system as you can because people like that. The cost goes way up if you resell it that way. But if you want to get the best deal, look for scratched units and things where everything works or maybe a single port's not working, but you know that. Um, make sure the screens are bright, all that kind of stuff. You know, make, know what you're getting. Again, know what the OS can upgrade to so that you can actually upgrade it and, uh, and then know if you're capable of doing it on your own with these kind of special software that allows it. Um, know what kind of video card it has. Buy an SSD only or a Fusion drive, but not a, just a regular spinning drive. Fusion drives have part of an SSD drive, part of a normal drive. They're a little bit faster. They slow down over time as far as if you're doing long haul stuff. But long story short, they're way faster than a normal drive. 5400 drives are dirt slow, same as 7200 on, on any type of iMac, especially from an old, you know, older ones. They don't, you know, you just don't want them. Just do not get them. You won't be happy at all. And then my last thing of advice is just have fun with them. I mean, again, you're getting a computer with uh, these awesome screens for a couple hundred bucks. Get them, play with them, fool around, learn with them. And even if you've never had a Mac before, get one of these. Just find, you know, fool around with them and see how they work. And you can get to see if you like Mac OS or not for a very inexpensive cost. Most people that buy these just love them. And again, you're not spending a ton of money. I know money is money and you just don't want to waste it. So buy only what you can buy and buy what you're going to use. But if, you like, if you're like me and you like buying these things and spending like a year with them and then you sell them or you do them for your channel, it's really a lot of fun. And you just have to know what you're buying. And, and I haven't gotten a bad one yet because I trust certain companies. And those are the companies that you just want to do business with, talk to them, see how they react to any kind of support issues and things like that, and then just keep buying from that same company. So anyways, I just hope this helps people. I'm not trying to solve the world here as far as giving you tons of advice, but this is just my personal experience, and I hope that it helps people like if they're going to be spending a couple hundred bucks on an iMac. So my channel is all about these different type of videos where most of these big techies don't do these kind of videos because it's not they don't have the affiliations with companies and stuff. So... Hopefully you guys can subscribe and help me grow, and we'll talk to you soon. I hope you guys like these kind of videos. Peace.